Good morning, it's Rishi from Drifting Man X here and I'm out today with my ECX Temper. Not only is this uh, four wheel drive a uh, rock crawler, it, this one is also four wheel steer with servos front and back. So I'm going to try a bit of rock climbing on this and then take it down the creek uh, to play. Got loads more coming up over the course of the next few days, more featuring the uh, new Traxxas TRX4 uh, which I'll be shooting some more of over the weekend and I've also got some high speed stuff in the planning as the weather's now beginning to get sunny so stay posted. Anyway, I'm going to crawl in. Now, while the ECX Temper is only tiny and uh, certainly one of the smallest vehicles I know, it's also one of the ones I've most heavily uh, modified. Not only does this feature four wheel steer, I've also fitted this out with uh, brushless power. Not only uh, does this uh, one of my smallest uh, vehicles, uh, it's also one of the most heavily modified. Uh, not only I fit the uh, second servo for the four wheel steering, which is a very easy modification to do, uh, by the way, should you get one of these crawls. They're only about $120, $29, something like that. Uh, quite a lot of car for your uh, money on there, developing a, a little bit of a cult following. Uh, out there. Anyway, this one's also fitted with brushless power as I've got a second user brushless setup uh, fairly cheap. A top super task with the uh, the crawler like this is normally a bit pointless, but just to give you some idea of the brushless power, this is it going flat out. Which is not bad for something that small. That brushless power has got the uh, the power there when you want it, but it's a bit too much power at times. The throttle action's maybe not as smooth as it could be. You can see the articulation on the thing is uh, fairly impressive. Hopefully that's come out of video. The car suffers though terribly uh, from uh, torque twists, um, which I made it. I've also done a, a modification uh, at the recommendation of another user uh, on there, which is also on our uh, YouTube uh, channel. Not well there, as I say, I'm, unlike other channels, I'm not afraid to show you what goes wrong as well as what goes right. The uh, shocker just popped off there. When I say popped off, all of the uh, suspension here, everything is very, very easy to work on. Everything just pops on and off the car. So while things like that can happen and pop off, it doesn't necessarily break. You can simply push the thing uh, back on. And whilst I've got this uh, fairly good creek to uh, to crawl up and down in, with heavy rain overnight, the water depth's a bit more than I'm comfortable with this, as the ECX Temper as standard isn't fully waterproof. We've got a little bit of work to do there to uh, waterproof the uh, receiver which you can see tucked away in the end there uh, to make sure it's nice and watertight before I go trying to go through at uh, axle depth even on this. The ECX Temper is available from your local hobby store or from Horizon Hobbies. If there's anybody from Horizon Hobbies watching this, why not send me your new jet boat to test up this stream? I mean, I mean driving up the stream. Bit more work to do on the clearance, but we'll get there. Do listen Horizon Hobbies. Sure, we should be good for going through here though. So we've got pretty good uh, traction with the uh, the thing on there. Clearly not going to get through that way. The four wheel steering on uh, full lock is just uh, phenomenal. Definitely helps to uh, be able to get round obstacles. And we are kind of up and round after a fashion. I can see a gap through there. Well, that was uh, pretty sweet coming through there. I did not expect to get through that. Its size sometimes goes against it and it sometimes goes for it and being able to crawl through gaps that other stuff simply wouldn't be able to. The disadvantage of something this small is the tire size. You're not going well, it has got the capability to crawl up this. The tires haven't got the uh, height to do so. However, let's get the fronts on, see if we can pull the back up. Nope. And again, size goes against it in some ways, size goes for it in other ways. Kind of makes uh, the brushless power help sort of if you want to get a bit of speed on and go over this general trail walking. As I said, can be a bit, uh, bit too much power maybe at times for the crawling, but you can make good progress. Mud, glorious mud. So let's see how we get on with it. The uh, tyres are actually, uh, the, these are, are not, the very similar pattern to the tyres it comes with. The tyres it comes with, unfortunately, uh, do let it down. They're very, very shiny, uh, which is ideally not ideal in rock crawling. So these ones are uh, actually got wheel weights in them, so the car's quite heavy. 
for its uh, size in here, which again. sticks. What have I always caught on sticks? So we've got a few more uh, boulders in this nice boulder field here. Check out that articulation. I mean, you've got nearly 90 degrees from axle to axle. Just ridiculous at this price point. Sweet. This beats some of my uh, crawlers that are a lot more expensive, although this has had quite a bit of time and money invested in it. See the uh, nimbleness that that uh, four-wheel steer uh, can uh, give you. Hopefully that's coming out. Finally, I've got some uh, Wellington boots. I can walk across the damn mud with the car. Unfortunately, as I say, we're, we're, it's not fully waterproof yet, so we're not going to be able to cross the river today. But through this mud, it's making fairly short work of, uh, of that. That's how deep the mud is there. My boot's gone straight in that. Yeah, this thing's getting over it very easily. Try and get a bit better line through here. Okay, a bit more of the muddy stuff. It really doesn't seem to have uh, too much of a problem with this, other than me getting the right line through there at all. Not troubled by uh, the heavy mud there whatsoever. Sticks, why is it always the sticks that are the problem? Okay, crossing moderate amounts of water, not a problem. It's just the deep stuff we can't do as yet uh, because of that waterproofing issue. So, if you like this video, please subscribe, share with friends if you love it. I've got many more great videos uh, coming up, both fast and slow, like this. Uh, all being well, we've got some really fast stuff coming up uh, within the next week or so. And as I say, we've got more to uh, coming up with the Traxxas uh, TRX4 this weekend. Well, if you like this video, then please do subscribe. And if you want to buy your RC gear, where I buy mine, buy from F&M Hobbies in New Jersey. Many thanks for watching.